Hi, my name is Mark Friesen. I'm uh, the band director at uh, West Central High School. I'm here with uh, a couple of the jazz bands to experience Cuban culture and Cuban music. We've had uh, a, a wonderful time. It's, it's really interesting because you, you get a chance to have students from two different cultures get together and through the power of music and dance, maybe a couple of words, make bonds that, uh, that you, you just wouldn't be able to make any other way. That's been a big highlight for us. Of course, learning about uh, Cuban song and uh, the Cuban music was a big reason for us to come. Um, and just, just to experience uh, music from a, another perspective and, and uh, learn more about what's going on in the world musically. My name is Grace Thompson. I am from Alberta, Canada, a small town called Rocky Mountain House. And I'm here to, with my school, my jazz band, to learn about um, Cuban music, Cuban culture. I honestly, I really enjoyed meeting, playing for all the kids and the other music students we met here. And I really enjoyed talking with them and trying to communicate with them. It's been a lot of fun. Um, we actually got to learn about especially the beats like uh, salsa and mambo. They have two different but really similar um, kind of baseline beats that um, we're going to try to add to our salsa and mambo pieces. <laughs> Uh, my name is Christina. I'm from a small town in Alberta, Canada, and I'm in Cuba with the school jazz band to learn about different Cuban styles of music and how to do them better. Uh, my favorite parts of Cuba have been visiting the schools and the community centers and hanging out with all the different people and also the performances and different musical experiences and workshops. Uh, I was able to see different ways of how to play instruments and yeah, how to play different instruments. I'm Nathan Moore. I'm the principal of West Central High School and I'm here with our um, jazz music program. Our music teacher, uh, Mr. Mark Friesen, is the one who organized the trip and I trust uh, Mark to find programs that will be a benefit to our students and will help them not just to learn other cultures but also to grow in their musical capabilities. So when he selected this trip to Cuba, and this was actually years ago that he decided to try and come to Cuba, um, we were very supportive of the idea. It's just been difficult to make it happen. So this year we were very happy that we were able to um, put this together, that Mark was able to find uh, an opportunity to come to Cuba. Welcome to Cuba. We actually talked a lot about this at, throughout the week. There are a number of highlights. Uh, for me to select uh, two or three, I think um, they would be, first of all, on an educational level, uh, the percussion um, training that was given to us here in Tulipana. Uh, that was phenomenal just because it is not a percussion format that we use. The rhythms are not rhythms that we use in our uh, musical education and so for the students to experience that to be taught them and then to have to try them out that was really worthwhile and that's one of the things that uh, Mr. Friesen said that he was looking to do and wanted to accomplish on this trip and the other highlights would be any of the opportunities to interact with the students here in Cuba and to listen to their love of music to perform with them and in front of them and to see their reaction to music. They have um, a facility with music that we do not as Canadians. They seem to live and breathe music whereas we enjoy it and our youth, in, particularly in Mark's program, are uh, learning to understand it more effectively and perform it more effectively. But here, um, the people of Cuba all seem to um, have music as one of their talents. 
So for us, anytime we could interact with them, anytime we could perform with them, that was a highlight. But the percussion really stood out. Well, I think any time you get a chance to have students uh, investigate and learn about another culture and its music, it's going to uh, make their ears larger. They're going to be able to hear more and consequently uh, perform at a higher level uh, and just have more of a, an intuitive uh, knowledge of music. I would absolutely recommend this uh, program to, to anyone who wanted to experience uh, Cuban culture at, at its best. I would just repeat what I said to Mark earlier, and that is we would, uh, if we had the opportunity to bring a, uh, a group of jazz students or orchestral students, music studying students, to Cuba every second year, we would do it. Uh, it's exceptionally valuable for us to this point in time. It's been wonderful, absolutely. Um, I would highly recommend it. Um, every trip is different based upon the students that you bring with you and the chaperones and the tour guides we have we had tremendous tour guides so but um, the experiences we have and I've been on many many international tours uh, this ranks as one of the better ones that we've ever done and so it's of worth I'm from Rocky Mountain House, Alberta, Canada, and I am on a jazz trip, I guess, a jazz tour. That It's a beautiful city filled with beautiful people. They are so uh, generous and kind-hearted and very um, happy, not happy, but like energetic, I guess. Um, anywhere you go, you can just feel the energy from them because they're just so happy to present their culture to you. I think people should come to Cuba if they get the chance because it's a totally different experience than back home and different way of living and you just, there's so many cool experiences and people that you meet. Well, the weather here is beautiful, <laughs> um, and just really the people are so nice. They're very welcoming, um, especially all the people that we've met so far. They've made a real effort to talk to us, and we've made an effort to talk to them and dance with them and just really um, make friends in general. Uh, I can. I definitely think that kids back home should do this because it, it's just a lot of fun. You get to experience another place. You get to meet new people. You get to do all those fun things that life is about. And I think that's really great. <laughs> <laughs>